It's Christmas. You're supposed to say, good morning, uh, campers. Okay, ready, go. Go. Good morning, campers. Oh, how are you? Good. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Good morning, B. I hope that's crispy enough. Hi, B. I know that they don't get as crispy as French bread. Right? Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon. I always say good morning to B, and he gets so excited. So I don't even care what time of the day it is. When he gets up from his nap, I always say, Good morning, B! Yeah. There's good some, morning! There's, a, like, a pretty popular song going around on Instagram okay. for the reels. Okay. And it starts with good morning. So I've been singing that to him all what day. What is it? Good morning. I know it's hard to wake up. Because the sun's in your eyes and sometimes life kind of sucks, but you got this. I don't know that I know that one. Did you make a reel to it yet? No, not yet. Well, will you so I can see it? Yeah. I'm, I'm curioso. I mean, I can try and find out. I don't know if I saved the audio yet or not, but mm. it's, it's pretty popular. All right, Harrison, guess what happened to Mommy's car? Oh, no, what happened? You're never gonna believe this. Okay. All right, you wanna sit down so I can tell you? Uh-huh. Okay, so mommy was driving to work. Yeah. And my window rolled down. Oh. Like this much. But do you know how cold it is outside? Mm -hmm. It's freezing. So I had to drive to work with my window open. Yeah. Whoa, that is a big bite of banana in your mouth, huh? Yeah, we'll wait a second. So then, I go to work and I'm at work all day and I'm worrying about my window. Yeah. Guess what happened on the way home? What? I get out to my car. Yeah. <gasps> what is that? You want to read a book? Well, okay. I guess the story has to wait. <gasps> He's saying more. He's saying, you want to read? Okay, hang on guys. We got to read. Um, my, um. <laughs> what are those? One, two, three, four. Five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pencils? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, ten. Ten fish! Mm -hmm. Yes, B! Okay, hang on. B, which one is the tomato? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. He might! Harrison, where is the parrot? Yes, what do parrots say? What? I want a cracker. I'm the cracker. Hey, B, where's the ladybugs? Where's the ladybugs, BB? Why here? Are you showing them? <laughs> he just wants to eat his cracker. He does. This camera up in the top left corner. Okay, first yeah. it just said portrait. Yeah. Right now, yeah. but then if I like. Get closer to Archer. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It says infant. I followed them. There. Oh, it says no. infant. So, and hey. it shows a little picture of a baby. Aw, let me see. Okay, where are you looking? <laughs> You're looking over there, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'm driving to work, and my window goes down. We remember that part. Everybody remember yeah. that part, right? Yeah. On the way home, guess what happened? What? My window rolled all the way down. Yeah. Do you know how cold it is outside? Yeah. Do you know how cold I was? Yeah. I could see, no matter what I kept the heat on in my car, I could see my breath. It was so funny because you called me and you're like, I'm going to yeah. need your help. Carrie, 
I'm gonna need your help when I get home. Why? What's wrong? The window is further down than it was this morning. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> then you're like, I think I need a butter knife. I think I can fix it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And then you're like, what? I can't hear you. I'm on the highway and I'm so cold. And I'm just like cracking up because it's so Oh, bad. it was horrid. And I hate driving down the highway with one window down because it like makes this weird pressure thing in the yeah, car. Yeah, it goes, fadoosh, 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 And you do it. Fadoosh, 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 fadoosh. So like, did you crack the driver's side? I sure did. And it was worse. It went from feeling like one ice cube to two giant ice cubes. It was so, and it, it stopped going, fadoosh, 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 fadoosh. <laughs> What are you doing? Hey, don't drop that on my shirt. I'm just eating a banana. <laughs> What's oh, wrong with our family? Maybe uh, and mommy used to be this. Yeah, to so this anyway, day. Carrie comes home. She or I Carrie comes home. I come home. Carrie brings the butter knife out and proceeds mommy. to press the button even more, and my window mommy. goes whoosh all the way down into the car. Thankfully, we live really close to... Um, Mommy, yes, we just bought... <clears throat> you want to read it again? Hey. What, is this the same book? The campers... Oh, I know what you're doing. The campers know this book very well. I yeah. used to read this to you. Yeah. Hang on. Let me finish the story. You go over to your chair and I'll, be, I'll read in a minute. Okay? So, thankfully, we live really close to, like, a body shop. You're bringing the chair over? Okay. And he offered to look at my car... And it turned out that something or another that I don't remember already, hmm? like, all I can think of is reticular hey, formation. Hey, Mommy, what is this on your face uh, right here? What is it? Right here? No. Is it in, the, in her mouth? Uh -huh. She it. What? I, yeah. Or a piece of skin. Oh, my gosh. What? That might have been food. Harrison just yeah. called you out. <clears throat> Um, and then with mommy's car window down, and police are, police, po police? <laughs> <laughs> what? what about the police? Um, more, more, more. A police <laughs> car doesn't come to the car. What? what is your brother saying? <laughs> when... When the police officer got to the car. Listen, the police officer <laughs> didn't come to my car, but mom got pulled over today. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it turns out that something in my car that like houses the... You want to get down, Bubba? Okay. I think so. Something that houses the mechanics to like roll my window up and down like yeah. snapped in half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when the police comes... <laughs> Did you tell him you got pulled over? Because why is he no, fixated on the... He I, must know. I, I thought you were going to talk about a police car and um, coming to your car, remember? You're talking about that old, old story? How do you remember that? Uh, because. Because how? Because a police officer comes to your car. Remember, are you talking about the one when I got the parking ticket? Yeah. Yeah, how do you remember things? Because... Are you really that smart, or are you just messing with me? Are you messing with me? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, anyway, um, we will have to get Carrie to tell. Uh, oh, my God, I love them. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Hey, tell Mom she has to tell her story. Mom got pulled over by a police officer today. You, Mommy got pulled by a police officer today. Hey. No, I didn't. Yes, she did. Wow. <laughs> Can you see yourself? Can you say hi? Hi. Can you say hi? Hi, I'm Archer. Uh, mm. Mm. That's mommy's gold bond. This is this is a staple for me. It helps my creases. Uh, uh, uh. You gonna take it? Okay, don't open the lid. Don't open it. So, anyway, back to the whole long story short, or as Carrie would say, short story long. 
I got my window fixed, and that was a pretty penny because apparently the aftermarket one wasn't for my car. Or he said something about. It. I trust him. I didn't think it was. It, it didn't come across as like shady, so don't don't get me wrong. And I guess I should too. Uh, I thought Harrison was gonna tell the story about Carrie getting pulled over. It just turned out she got a warning because her tail light was out. And it really wasn't out because all we had to do was like touch the back of it and it came back on. It must be loose. Yeah, but it didn't, it wasn't every time when I went out there and kept slamming on the brakes just to check it after, it didn't ever go off again. Yeah, so, so yeah, that's about it. Um, but anyway, fun, you know, fun week. Not really, not really a fun week. Oh my goodness. Oh, I gotta tell you guys that drive home was so super cold. So cold. <sighs> so, anyway, for those who have been asking, um, I do appreciate all of the feedback on the video that I put up this yesterday morning with my mom. You know how you just get that like gut feeling like something's wrong? And it really could just be based on past feelings. You know, it could just be this automatic. Yeah. Sure. You know, because I did that too. I did it. I didn't want to bother people whenever I was sick. Right. You know? And it could be nothing, and that's what I hope it is, and I keep telling myself that, but um, the important thing that I really want you to take away from this is that it was very hard for me to just walk away and accept the fact that for some reason my mom didn't want to talk about it and doesn't want to talk about it until after Christmas. It could mean many things. It could just mean that she doesn't want to start trying to find a cardiologist until then. I mean, literally, it, it could mean many, many things. So I'm not going to... I can't worry about it right now, you know. So I appreciate all of the, you know, the really positive comments and stuff like that. It, it was really great. Um, a lot of you validated my feelings, uh, which in turn, I, you know, prior to that, validated my mom's and, and understood that she had her process. But it is tough. And I thank you guys for, for knowing that and understanding that it was tough for me. Mom just did. Yeah. What'd she do? I don't know. You I got don't know. Is it on your eyebrow? Apparently, I had a pimple in hey, my mommy. eyebrow. Hey, mommy. <sighs> yes, buddy. Do you hear my um belly? Did I hear your belly? Yeah. Did it rumble again? Yeah. Are you hungry? Um, no. I thought it was rumbling. Actually, Why did you do that? Do what? Turn it on? Yeah. Why did you turn the camera on? No, you, you don't, don't know. To, you don't have to save the footage. I don't, but I want to know why you turned it on. So you could see yourself after you pop a zit. Okay, first of all, it was a zit in my eyebrow. And I'm willing to bet that every camper that's ever had a zit in their eyebrow mm -hmm. knows how that feels. I mean... Carrie, it's heck. It hurts. You have a very low pain tolerance. Carrie. What? Anything in the eyebrow, above the lip, that place, those places hurt. This little area right here on your nose, mm -hmm. like under your nose, oh my god. Yeah. Have you ever had a pimple there? Yeah. Yeah, what's it feel like? I mean, I guess it depends. If they're the little surface ones, they don't really hurt. You are... If they're the deep ones, they do, because they don't come out right away. <sighs> Sorry. That's how I feel. When I have this on my face, you feel differently. Okay, goodbye. And that's okay. Okay, you're fired. Another thing that I wanted to touch base on real quick um, is my video that I put up Saturday with my current weight loss progression. Another video, just overwhelmingly amazing like comments, 
everybody was i haven't even actually seen a horrible comment on that and i wasn't That's like crazy. waiting for one or anything but i just can't believe that no one like no one from the internet you know stumbled upon it and said something uh-oh but i do want to say this okay so somebody had mentioned about being more comfortable wearing different kinds of clothes I'm not really sure what that comment... It didn't seem negative or anything, but, like, if you're referring to... Oh, look at my lipoma. You can really see that today. If you're referring to, like, me... And, and I had to, like, lift it up. I don't know if they're going to be able to see. But if you're referring to me wearing, like, a shirt like this that's not... You know, like, your shirt is... No, this one is not, but it's bigger. You know? Like, this shirt doesn't pull off of me like that. Okay. So I'm not sure if you're referring to that, but part of me, like, losing weight, wearing shirts like this is actually very, um, it's very defining. You know, it's like, it's a good moment for me to be able to, like, wear this because every single shirt that I wear now, I no longer have to put the shirt on and, like, do this thing and... You know, like make it bigger. I don't do any of that stuff anymore. No, you don't. I just put you the had shirt to do that on. Every day. I had to do it every single day. I remember. I don't know if you're gonna want me, if you want me to say this, but I remember when you would make me not make when we would wash your clothes, right? Yep. And we couldn't dry them. Yeah, I couldn't ever have my clothes dried because they would be so stiff and I wouldn't be able to and wear them. After they came out of the wash, you would make me help you. And we would stretch them like this. Yeah. And then like this and switch it, go this way. Yeah, so like if I had a shirt that was tight, we would stretch it. Stretch it wide and then long. But then we had to stretch it long because if you stretched it wide first, the shirt would just be short. But these are ways that I, these were compensatory strategies. These are exactly the things I was talking about in the vlog on Saturday that I would do to like... This is before, you know, like I have compensatory strategies set up so that I don't make poor choices, but I also used similar, but I also use similar strategies, you know, to maintain not worrying about being overweight, you know, and again, I say these things for me. I'm not saying these things for anyone else. If you still stretch your shirt out, go for it. Good for you. If that's what you need to do to get by, you do it. But for me, that was like one of these things that I'd realized I'd done. Like, oh, I'm not really gaining weight. I can just keep stretching my shirt out. Oh, I don't I don't have to buy new sizes. I can just keep stretch my stretching my shirt out. It's just these are things that people do to like make things okay. And I did plenty of those. You're going to work? Uh-huh. Check this out. Okay, well, what do you got to do to go to work? Stand up. No, I can't go. Well, you got to stand up and carry mommy's work bag. Go to work. Oh, go to work. Uh-oh, you forgot your keys and your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful you don't hit little B. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, what's this kid doing? Here you go, Archer. You can have one, too. That was so like... Harrison, your school bag's pretty big, too. I'm going to go to work. Okay, what are you going to do at work? I'm going to get to the work and watch. I'm going to say, I'm going to go. Are you going to go look after all my patients? Uh-huh. Okay, what are you going to help them with? I don't know. You don't know? Hello? It's, Hello? Mommy? Hello? It's actually funny Hello, because... Mommy. I meet new patients all the time, and my first thought is, how am I going to help this person? So he's right by saying he doesn't know. He's absolutely 100% right. Hello, Mommy? Yes, buddy. Hello? Hello? He's calling on us. Oh, I'm coming back. Oh, were you calling me on your cell phone? Yeah. Where is your cell phone? In my pocket. Let me see it. Oh, that's a good-looking phone. Yeah. Is that the iPhone Infinity? Huh? It's right into your hand. Yeah, it's programmed right into your hand. <laughs> I really hope that we don't have that stuff. You're trying to put my pack back. 
Yeah. He was. Why don't you go out there and show tell B what work is? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we got to do our dancing for the end of the night after dinner, and I think we're going to go do some playing. We got books to read. We got, we got a big night ahead of us, don't we? I'll help you in a minute. But, all right, everybody. So, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you. On the flippity flippity. I got my keys. I got my keys to the other door. That is a banana. Yay, yay, what? Yay. All right. Say bye to everybody. Bye. Say bye bye. 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 bye.